For over 20 years, Search for Common Ground has shown the world that we make the road to peace by walking it. Founded in 1982 with a staff of two, and rooted in the belief that we can change the way the world deals with conflict, we have created partnerships with peace seekers and provided creative tools for peace builders. Today, with a staff of 400 in 15 countries on four continents, we help millions of people find a way to peaceful conflict resolution. In Angola, a war-weary people finally have a fragile peace after a 30-year cycle of violent conflict. As they learn to live without war, they also have to learn to live in peace, even with the differences that led them to the conflict. This is particularly true in the camps for internally displaced persons, where over two million people from diverse regions and cultures have been forced to share unsharing space. Our Angola Center for Common Ground sent teams into the camps to train leaders like Devore in conflict resolution. This is something I'll take with me for the rest of my life. I'll know how to teach that to my brothers, my friends and co-workers so that they can pass that on to others at their homes, schools and workplaces. The camps are closing and the people are returning to their homes. The work that's transforming lives here today may help transform a village tomorrow and perhaps one day a nation. Things won't change overnight in Angola or anywhere else we work. We understand conflict is natural. We know that it can also lead to opportunity and growth. In Sierra Leone, Search for Common Ground established the Talking Drum Studio. The studio produces informational radio that reaches and touches the nation with the message of reconciliation. Programs like the soap opera Atunda Allende, which means lost and found. Just listening to Atunda Allende, done by the Talking Drum Studios. Sierra Leone has gone through a 10 year civil war, and people have lost so many things. And one way or the other, people have found what they've lost, even though not all of it. That's why we call it lost and found. When that program comes up, everywhere there is health as culture. People running here and there, tuning their radio, so listen to this particular program. <laughs> the soap opera deals with a, a whole range of issues, and that's the beauty of a soap opera. Two, one, action. HIV and AIDS is one of them. Well, what do you know about AIDS? HIV and AIDS now sick when not get medicine. We're also looking at gender issues and how traditionally the culture has regarded women and girls, for instance, and we're trying to break through those barriers. So that we go give Una the woman in power. It is important for me to take the role as Safi because I was a combatant. After being reintegrated into the society, I'm now an ex combatant. I'm trying to do something to build the women so that they can do something for themselves, so that they can help to build the community and the country as a whole. Atuna Yenda is. Uh very powerful. It shows different ways that you can go about solving a problem in a positive way, in a peaceful way, in a non-violent way. I think this is the impact that Atuna Allende has had and why it's so popular. We believe peace is a process, not an event. In the Mideast, Search for Common Ground has for a decade brought together influential Arabs and Israelis through unofficial diplomacy to help find a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian crisis most recently including a unique opportunity for Palestinians and Israelis to see the future as it can be. We're making a television series on the issues that separate Palestinians and Israelis. It's called The Shape of the Future. It's a very, very, I would say, uh, courageous attempt. I believe that this is the first time that such an attempt has been made bringing both sides into the picture. 
We're making the series primarily for local broadcast. It'll be on in Hebrew, on Israeli television, and in Arabic on Palestinian television. I think search uh, for common ground reminds everybody continuously that uh, in spite of all the apparent uh, deadlocks and frustrations and lack of progress, uh, it is possible to have peace. It is possible to solve this problem. The aim of the series is to show a mass audience on both sides that it really is possible to find peace without threatening the national existence of either people. Our media is winning international awards and more importantly, the hearts and minds of the people with whom we work. It's been a successful approach to reach the most people in the most dynamic way. And it's just one tool of many that we use to bring the message of conflict resolution to a world in need of peace. In the United States, Search for Common Ground USA is helping communities large and small transform the way they deal with their conflicts and differences. In Philadelphia, a diverse group of public and private organizations looked for ways to help solve the problem of ex-offenders returning to prison. Many times it's difficult for um, people like uh, the folk representing churches, representing government, representing the private sector to get together and sit down at a table and work on a common problem. So the search for common ground was just simply that. They came in here, they established common ground among these three or four entities, brought everybody together and focused on the problem. For thousands of Philadelphians returning to their communities, the consensus search for common ground built can be the foundation for a new life. The search helped us to find at least 60 to 70 significant obstacles that typical inmates face and helped us to be able to identify uh, ways to um, serve them and to, to overcome those obstacles. It's never too late to work with adults and never too early to reach out to children. In Macedonia, our popular children's television series, Nashe Malo, uses the spirit of a magical apartment building to show an ethnically diverse audience that they can live together in harmony, the Nashe Malo way. Nashe Malo logic is that we all have to appreciate ourselves, appreciate the differences, uh, learn about each other, because in the past years we were living by each other, but not together. The first year of my being in the show, there were children in my school from various ethnic communities who were constantly fighting about everything. When Nasha Mao started broadcasting, all that stopped and we were all surprised. But the kids said that when someone from Nasha Malo could do that, why couldn't we do the same? It's taught us that it doesn't matter whether a kid is a Macedonian or an Albanian, because all kids are the same. The generations that watch this show and understand its message will most probably bring up their children in the Nashe Malo spirit. I think that if that happens, there's a chance for us to live in peace. Smir, Smir, Smir. Dogo, Dinamir. It is important that you see the one across from you who may be your enemy. See him as a friend waiting to be made.